Hey guys, it's your boy Knicks Tay Banks. This time we're talking about Kenny Payne, the new New York Knicks assistant head coach. But before we get into that, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bless up. Kenny Payne was the associate head coach at Kentucky for 10 years. He was the 1B to Coach Cal's 1A as opposed to being a regular assistant. Now, when we look at his relationships with World Wide West, a lot of people will say they seem to be close friends and most of the Knicks hires seem to be either friends or linked in the past in some way. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think the fact that the Knicks are looking to build a cohesive front office and coaching staff is really important. When we look at the San Antonio Spurs, one of the greatest basketball dynasties ever, we see that R.C. Buford and Coach Pop are very much on par with each other as far as evaluating talent and understanding how each other thinks. That's very important, especially in New York, where you not only have to provide guidance to the players and let them know which route we're taking and what needs to be done, but also when you have to answer to the media consistently and when you have an owner who is so quick to pull the trigger on things because he's so reactive. If the Knicks have a strong foundation, which they lay on, then there won't be as much interference from ownership. Others may complain that this was a front office pick, but this Coach Cal quote says otherwise. I just wanted to make sure that Kenny understood he's leaving a great situation here. He's paid a lot of money here, the highest paid in college basketball, and now all of a sudden he's coming to the Knicks and it's going to be a build, but here's his strength and how are you going to utilize him? And Tibbs was on point. He went point to point. He knew why he wanted him on his staff. That Coach Cal quote tells us that Tibbs is very much involved in these decision-making processes, and he knows particularly what he wants and who he wants to do these things. We know Kenny brings a lot to the table. Again, he was essentially on level ground with Coach Cal in Kentucky. The two things that he was known for was player development and recruiting. Many stars stand by him and were excited to see him finally get a chance in the NBA. Although he is linked to stars like AD, like Devin Booker, like Towns, the Knicks should focus on player development. We haven't really been able to land big stars in a long time, and when we have, we haven't really built the proper team around them in order to allow them to be successful. He's known to round out players and develop them into stars. When we look at all the big men like AD, Bam Adebayo, Towns, he develops them into well-rounded players. This will be interesting when we look at Mitch, who wants to expand his game beyond just rim running. A lot of the stars, when they first arrived to Kentucky, were timid. But he instills a sense of confidence in these guys, which is something a couple of our guys need. We can look at Frank. We can definitely look at Kevin Knox, who played for Payne in Kentucky. AD had said, when he got to Kentucky, he had no moves. Kenny Payne laid the foundation, taught him a signature move, the one dribble spin move into a jump hook, which we see AD use all the time now in the NBA. Kenny had also created his own set of drills, which we see players like Devin Booker and Tyler Hero use to this day. Kenny is known to push players to the point of exhaustion, to where they throw up in practice. And although he is well liked, that draws the question, how will this transfer to the league? where players aren't necessarily driven to be pushed this way. Between Kenny and Tibbs, we know that the Knicks are gonna need to acquire hard-nosed players who are ready to be pushed because those players are gonna work hard every day in practice. What do you guys think about Coach Kenny Payne? I think the Knicks acquired a well-respected, highly likable guy who will help our team develop. When we look at the Knicks in the past, we haven't really had much of a player development staff where other teams have five or more coaches handling that end of the game. But let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.